So that was born of... But Scott Hodge is very important for them and they should do pretty well as Port LA coming onto the ground now. Yes, thank you, Michael. I'm just not sure we could hear you right at the end there, but as you can hear by the roar, the mighty magpies have come onto the ground and the banner has been uh, destroyed, I guess, by the wet and the weather, and that is unfortunate. Michael, just uh, in relation to Port Adelaide's goal kick, I know we keep coming back to them. They are their underdogs, and if they and they, they, they whilst they have to defend well today, they still have to kick enough uh, enough goals. Neville Roberts was coming to do the ABC commentary, and he said, oh, g'day, Timmy, how you going? I said, yeah, good. Actually, to tell you the truth, I feel like I'm going to vomit. I'm that nervous. He said, why would you be nervous? You, you guys have got nothing to lose. I said, hang on, mate. I said, tell that to the people at Albert. I said, I've got to go back there tonight. I'm not going back there a loser. I said, they'll tear me apart. <laughs> I want to win. <laughs> I, I, I often hear people say that, oh, I've, I watched the last quarter of the uh, 94 grand final again just to make myself feel better. And I, and I like that. But I said, but the story's in the first three quarters. That's where the story is. You, you just go into the punchline of the joke. And uh, it was the setup of the first three quarters that really made that grand final. I mean, like you said, they, they'd whacked us by 12 in the, in the second semi. We're six down, 20 minutes in uh, to the first quarter. And I can remember going back to the forward line going, gee whiz, I would kick more than one goal late. I thought, <laughs> I want that hanging over my head. He knows how to kick goals. He loved this one early. Chance for ball A's. Quick hands, Morford! Morford, a full four in his time. There's Nickel, kick five in their last meeting. Very close indeed. Oh, the Maggies are in terrible strife. They've only played 12 minutes. Runs into an open goal, and he has got it. Not quite taken. Morford's got it. From the ground, he gets his third. Yeah. What a start. In the time on, the Eagles are absolutely on fire. The Magpies. Just in the boiling pot at the moment, they're nearly done. It was like a nightmare. That first quarter was overcast, and you're just going, "This is a bad dream. This is this is this is this is a nightmare." You know, I got in a bit of a stoush. I was brutally attacked, and uh, I took my free kick and kicked the first one. And the ball came out straight away out of the centre, and Scotty took a one-hander, and this bloke just jumped on top of him after the contest out of sheer frustration and emotion from the fight earlier, and he's kicked a second one. And all of a sudden we're going in at quarter time, only four down, not six down. Over half forward a chance. Hodges! Super catch! And 50! Geneva's kick might have sparked the Maggies. They closed the gap. Maybe they're coming back, the Maggies. And then it was just a dogfight. For the next two quarters, it was crash and bash like you've never seen. There was no secret weapon, was there? All we did was just lifted our work rate and gradually we just wore them down and wore them down. Some ground, Walker was taken high, Jennifer from the ground. Well done, boys. Now they're a chance. They can turn it over, but sitting on the There was this big well. vibe at three quarter time, wasn't there? We were within sort of 13 points, I reckon. Big vibe around the, the three quarter time huddle. And to get the opening clearance, went out of the wing row and hit uh, Scotty. Scotty from 55 out, post high, and we're away. Bang. Gets it to Rowan Smith. Awkward looking kick. If they can get one here, it'll make a world of difference. Here's Scotty. Listen to the roar. Well, we talked about the players required to lift. One of them was Stephen Williams, who had nine kicks and three handballs during the third quarter. The other one emerging with a mark in the opening seconds. Well, 514 career goals. This is one of his most important kicks ever. That goal umpire, I can tell you, hasn't moved a muscle. Scotty's got his second. The grand final's alive. Six points in it. 9-7 plays 7-13. We're a minute and a half into the last quarter. Alec Tellis, he can lift a side. 55 metres out. Here's a chance for Hodges. Can he take it again? He has! Thank you very much. And I talked about one of his most important kicks ever a moment ago. He has too. This is the most important kick and he's got it. Port Adelaide are back. The scores are tied away in the grand final. Five and a half minutes in. What a beauty. See what it's doing up here in the commentary box and what's it doing to the crowd and the players. Smith. Chance. Who's got it? Pepper, is it? Hodges. McLeod. Goal of the Maggies. Well done by Fiaci. Snared it. Just played the zone defence. Sat back and did it well. Ginova. Get it over the top, son. He does. Borlas has the runner on the inside. It's Blakeford. Good looking drop punt. Where's Hodges? He is the danger man at the moment. He's got it. They look okay at the moment. This man was always going to be the trump card. Beautiful kick. 
Split the middle. Bullseye. Straight through. Williams. Hodges. A chance. Malakellis. He can get through. He's got a chance. Around his body. Six goals for Magpies. Malakellis first. I think they've got it, the Maggies. The Maggies are into attack again. They've absolutely dominated this quarter. Spear now. He's caught. Tackle. Scotty Hodges. Desperation. Hodges. From 40 metres. Oh, it's a run in the park for Scotty. A goal. 13, 14, 92. They've run away from the Eagles, 97. That was very special to come from behind and, and to have to work so hard during the day and turn it around. What you sort of probably don't realise is that I think Oakley and Schwab were in the crowd with uh, Greg Bolton and Brian Cunningham uh, watching the grand final. And of course, they couldn't get over the noise and the passion in that last quarter. And I think it sort of sealed the deal, like, is, is this going to be enough for an AFL team to, to be followed? And I reckon we sealed the deal on that particular day and that, that particular quarter. In the last quarter, it was probably the most memorable part of any grand final I can remember is the Port Adelaide chant, or Magpies chant, going around the ground with all the supporters. It was eerie, it was just amazing. I'm just thinking about it now, I'm getting goosebumps. What a super day, what a great day for the Port Adelaide Football Club. A jubilant, ecstatic, Port Adelaide, underdogs and victors. David, one of the best uh, turnarounds, one of the most courageous turnarounds I think I've seen in league football.